to start the season. And um, when you start it like we do with this Champions Classic, it's a privilege, honor, exciting this year, even more so with Mike being his final year. Um, this will be something that everybody will remember. Uh, I was there when he broke the record. I was the sacrificial lamb, so I called Kelly Perry yesterday and told him maybe he would be. But Mike's done a lot for our game, a lot for, for basketball in general. And uh, it'll be fun to see him there as he starts his farewell tour. But so far, uh, you know, I have liked what I've seen out of our team. I think it's uh, our veterans and Gabe and Marky, Malik, and Joey have, have all been better in every way, shape, and form. I think some of that comes to be with a true point guard. Uh, I think we're getting guys like Tyson, AJ, Max, and Jaden more ready. God, they just raped you. They said that you're, you're always, you're not on you for time, you're always for the late. So just want you to know that your compadres did not show a lot of respect for you. <laughs> um, Right. No, not surprising. But, uh, you know, I think those those eight guys are going to be the gist of our playing group. Mati Sissoko will be in there for sure, and, and that thing could grow. So it'll be interesting to see how Max and Jaden, as rookies, uh, start their career in Madison Square Garden against the number three ranked team in the country. It'll be interesting to see if uh, our two guys from the East Coast go back home and how they handle the situation. And it'll be interesting to see how we play against a team that has four returning starters and two of their transfers, led by Martin, um, averaged 20 a game last year. And uh, so it is kind of a team that, concerning for me because very small team, uh, very guard-oriented team. Their guards are scoring a lot of points. Their wings are scoring a lot of points. And yet McCormick in the middle is a man-child at 6'10", 250. Uh, preseason ranking, I think, is every bit deserved. But through learning in football, I don't know what rankings mean anymore because I think everybody's so topsy turvy trying to figure out who's got who and who fits in. Um, but Amaji is definitely their best returning player along with McCormick, and he's allowed at 6'7. Uh, he's a three point shooter, he's an athlete, he can do a lot of things. And as I said, Martin shoots from anywhere this side of half court and makes his share of them. Uh, that, that too is concerning to me because I think they come with a lot of different lineups and not seeing much and only seeing one exhibition game of theirs. Um, don't really have a great sample size of what they do. We've taken a lot out of last year and yet, even though there's four starters, those two or three guards that are uh, transferred in uh, bring a whole new light to the subject because they're guys that score a lot of points and uh, and can shoot the ball. So all in all, um, I feel as good as I can feel about my team. We had a great summer. Uh, when I think of how we are compared to last year's team, it's easy for me to relate. When I think of how we are according to who we're going to play, it's a little more difficult uh, to figure out. But the advantage of playing a team like this right off the bat is uh, you're going to get a good idea of where you are. And uh, as I always say, the advantage of basketball over football, win or lose a game, you, you can learn from it. But we're going into this game um, looking to make sure we compete, but looking to win the game. Uh, and I think, you know, we've, uh, we've had some battles in this tournament for the most part. 90% uh, of the games we've played, win or lose have been tough games and games that I think we've learned from. I don't see this any different. Questions? Tom, I know you can only tell so much from exhibition, but what have you seen from this team defensively to get involved that's going to take a step forward in that aspect? Well, I do think we've competed a lot harder. I do think that uh, we've gotten a lot more out of, uh, you know, even though we had some Guys that could defend, I mean, um, Tyson is, you know, the defensive player of the year in that league, and AJ is much, much more improved, mostly because of his conditioning and his size, I think. And uh, and then at the wings, you know, the, what's really been hard for me is to evaluate 
Uh, Josh Langford gave me everything he had, but Josh Langford was hurt about for two years, came back in. I am impressed that Max Christie has, I think, improved his defense since he's got here. He's improved his rebounding. And Jay Nakins can do some of the same things, uh, like a Charlie Bell, where I think he's athletic. He can, he can uh, not only uh, run the floor, pretty good shooter, but I think he can be a lockdown defender. So I think that, I think uh, those two positions, and then with Malik and Joey, we got guys that can either guard bigs or, you know, Malik, we can switch more. We have some versatility there that we didn't feel like we had last year. So I think we're going to be better defensively. Um, still concerned about our rebounding. I think it's going to be better, but uh, a lot of that will fall on Gabe as he become a, a real good rebounding forward. But Joey's rebounded the ball really well so far. Uh, Marcus has rebounded it okay. Uh, so Julius and, and uh, probably uh, Gabe will be big big keys because we need to get some rebounds from Gabe for sure. You used to uh, bring football pads somewhat to practice to kind of toughen guys up, but yeah. <laughs> then, now, then lawyers came about <laughs> and the invention of lawyers ended that, but go ahead. So as you prepare for an environment at Madison Square Garden with a lot of guys who have not played in a raucous environment like this will be. What have you done the last couple of days in practice to prepare for that? You know, it's a good question. You know, if you're playing in, at Purdue, you might bring in uh, a lot of uh, crowd noise and things like that. And Madison Square Garden is so big, you know, that won't be it's just the aura of, you know, when our pros came back this summer for a little grind week, asked every one of them, what is your favorite place to play? And I, you know, when you go there, first time I went there, you get in this big um, freight elevator, thank you. And, uh, you know, there's you know, popcorn and garbage, and, you know, there's just different things. And then you go up, what, three, four, five floors. It's, it's just so weird, you know. But then when you get in there, uh, or you walk the halls, and you see some of the boxing matches, some of the concerts, some of the things that have gone on there. Uh, that aura, now to most of these kids who think about nothing but what happens today compared to how we used to think, maybe it won't affect them as much, but I, I think AJ, you know, has grown up out in that area, definitely Tyson, um, so maybe they're a little more accustomed. I'm, I'm anxious to see how, how some of our guys respond. I'm anxious to see what Max does. So it's more or less just been talking to him because it's, it's not the same talking to him about uh, what it means to be in a, in a game like this. I mean, these are memory-making events. And I say that, it seems like I use that phrase a lot, because uh, when you're at a school like this, there's a lot of memory-making events. But some of these, where you get to play in places that the greatest that ever played, it's a privilege, you know? And I hope you look at it as a privilege, excitement, and it brings out the best in you, not that you um, get nervous and it brings out the worst. Um, this isn't one of these champions classics. There's been some in the past where all four teams are ranked like in the top five or whatever. This is a little bit different, but as kind of the unranked team in that, I know you guys have won every different kind of way. Does that chip in the shoulder on the shoulder thing kind of arrive already this early for guys, or is it, is it not really like that at this point? You know, it's a good question, and sometimes I use the chip on the shoulder. You know, I didn't use it this year. I haven't used it at all because I haven't deserved to use it. Um, we are where we are because of how we played last year. And, uh, you know, but I do use football, as you all know, a lot. And if you looked at the top 25 in football, what it was and what it is now, with preseason polls where it's topsy turvy. And, and I, I think that it's going to be that way in basketball. I think there's going to be ups and downs. I think there's going to be a lot of things that happen. And so I told them, oh my God, a year's left, take care of Michigan State getting better. Let's not worry about where Michigan is, or where Indiana is, or where Duke is, or where Kansas is. Uh, because the goal is that none of us really know, since everybody's teams are a little bit, you know, there's a couple. Ironically, we're playing one with four starters, kind of, but and five or six back of their top eight or nine. But they added some, those transfers they added can make them a lot better. Sometimes transfers can make you, you know, go the other way. So, um, 
I would use the chip on the shoulder because uh, the only time you use that is if you pick us bad or you talk bad about us and uh, you're wrong, which is most of the time, by the way, but in the case of um, predictions, um, you know, I saw us rank as high as 17th and as low as 28th, you know, and I guess we're right out of the top 25 at 26. I think that's an opportunity to earn your way back in and um, not to be mad at the media or mad at the coaches poll or mad at this or that because um, we haven't earned that yet. This group hasn't earned that. And, uh, you know, you hope sometimes the program gets the benefit of the doubt. But I, I don't see anything wrong with where we're picked. I see a lot wrong if we end there, not where we're picked at the beginning. I was wondering about the, the post rotation. I know you mentioned about my, uh, Marcus not rebounding as well. Do you, do you have a three man guy that you put the center spot right now? And how much do you, you know, yeah. if, if you, how, how deep can you go and can you use maybe Joe like you did at times yeah. last year? Yeah, we just, uh, we're, we are looking at some other options, but I'm hoping we're more stable. I, I have a lot of faith in Marcus right now. I haven't said that for three years, so I, I don't mind saying it, and I don't mind saying I didn't. Um, again, what I'm saying is what's earned and what's been done. And uh, Marcus has had a hell of a summer, a um, hell of a fall. And yet, you know, because of his body makeup, um, probably will never be a 30 something minute game player. Um, it's not even necessarily his fault. So what he's done and what we need, I like where he's at. Um, you know, the, the, the problem with Mark all the time is he's really shooting the ball better. And he isn't going to be able to shoot the ball as long as it's not between the legs behind his back and all that stuff. But it also brings him outside. And then he doesn't rebound as well. So it'll be interesting because this kid is a post-to-post is a -post player, McCormick. So Marky's going to be in there. And... Uh, He's more physical than Mark, but Mark, you know, did it, you know, a hell of a job on a big kid from Illinois or Michigan. You know, his size is his size. He's got a seven, five inch wingspan. And we're gonna to try to take advantage of that. But now we can bring in Julius, who is more rugged, who also did a hell of a job in those last couple of games against bigger centers because he's more physical. And then Mahdi brings a little bit of bulk. He's got the long seven, three inch wingspan. He's gained 20, 15 pounds. He's stronger. He's more athletic. Um, and is making progress. I mean, we're really happy with Monty. It's just that, you, you know, what we have to realize, what we do realize is kind of missed his senior year of high school with, with the hand. And last year with the COVID thing, you know, it's hard for anybody to improve as much during the year as maybe you hope. But uh, he'll play for sure. So. We'll probably play three. We could play Joey. I mean, the different situations are going to, but it, we're not going to get away from them. Won't be the musical chairs of one point guard starts, one point guard plays this, one point guard that, one center is this. Last year we were rotating four of them. Um, that will get away from uh, hopefully a lot more, but some of that is determined by the coach, but a lot of it is determined by the players. I am sure your team is anxious for this. Are they ready for this? And are you anxious to see if they're ready for this? Spring baseball? <laughs> um, I get so excited about it. I've never heard you that excited. So I, I seriously, I thought you were talking about catchers and pitchers, maybe. Um, that's, that's still 320 days away. Okay. You know what? My team is excited about it. I think they. Uh, you know, everybody's got a distaste for last year. If, if not even to how they played or what we did, they have a distaste for just the whole COVID thing and you know having fans back in the stands is so exciting. There's a lot of things to be excited about. Um, we're fairly healthy. In fact, we're really healthy, uh, other than one guy, and we're uh, you know we, we we like each other. I mean. The, the, it's been a fun spring, summer, and fall. And, uh, and so I think they're really looking forward to this game. You know, the unknown of how good is Kansas and how good are we. Uh, that's the unknown. That's the exciting part. And I've been asked a lot of shows that I've called, uh, do you wish you had a game like we used to against somebody 
a little different, but a real game. And well, I, I could say yes, but in a way, you know, you get to work out all summer thinking I get to play the number three ranked team in, in the utopia of, of pro sports, meaning that arena is not going to win or lose you a game, but it's not many places you'd want to play if you're a pro athlete, different than Madison Square Garden. So, yeah, I think we're really excited about playing. We're not nervous about playing or anything. We're excited about it. We're looking forward to it. And uh, I'm looking forward to how they respond. I really am as a coach. Thank you.